Hi guys, good morning. <clears throat> We're almost at the end of the month, which means releases of ISOs, which also means that there will be a video. So each month we build ISOs, the core ISOs. And from time to time we'll build the bees, but there are now five new desktops to explore. So there will be a few B releases. So in here we have articles about our older releases, but of course the new one. So I'm writing an article numbered 2212. In that particular article, you'll find that there is always a video, YouTube, Article X, that tells you about how to stay rolling and what's new. So through things you should watch and that's it. And all the rest you can, well, do it at your leisure when you have time. But those two are essential in the sense that there may be some things you should know, questions that pop up if you update, that's one. Always good to have that knowledge. And secondly, yeah, what did we change to your operating system, the new stuff, right? So in here, this is the search you choose if you want to know something and how to stay rolling and to stop the update videos. I think we call it update video or rolling. There is a long list about how to update. So updating articles from this version to that version, what I'm going to write is from 22 to 2211 to 2212. Keep rolling. That's the exact name it will be. And reading and watching all these videos, and here is the playlist, gives you the knowledge over time of what do we need to do and often it's the Arch Linux key ring, right? So let me say that again in this video. That needs to be installed first and then everything goes smoothly. So how to stay rolling and what's new those are the two videos that I'm, I'm gonna make so if you want to see what is new and then you see here a playlist and all the guys are here Hi, welcome. let's stop that guy so here it is sometimes not ordered the way we would uh, expect as human being but um, voila 22 11 22 10 9 and so on holiday right that's why no eight and so on so buy this to this browser super f7 this is the video how to stay rolling meaning i need to get something old in and i'm gonna get myself something old i keep the isos around and i take the xly because it has the most packages so the th most uh, likely to give a pop-up or a question or something right and let's install that again so UFI, I'm gonna tell VirtualBox boot from here. That's the ISO and go ahead with the first line. You know the drill, how to install, how to use those five lines. First two is Intel AMD 3.4 NVIDIA, the new stuff of NVIDIA, not the super old machines. By the way, put Windows on old machines and put Linux on new machines, right? not the other way around now let's install because um, we need to mimic the situation that uh, existed like say a week before beginning of november right then we build more or less the isos we test it and then we release it and then we update just a month which is uh, pretty high it's okay in gigabytes but maybe not okay in complexity right so advanced installation, we're gonna call that an online installation also between brackets. And this is the offline. You're on the beach, you can't have internet. And this is the one I need because easy installation is not going to the internet. He's really going to get the bits and the bytes and putting that on the future system. So this can never go wrong. It's ones and zeros. There is no internet connection needed, there is no intermittent communication, there are no servers that go down. I don't know what else can happen in a communication from A to B, a lot, right? And um, that cannot go wrong because it's just here on the ISO. That's the thing you'll put on your hard disk, SSD, NVMe. 
and let's wait for it to install and continue our story. And then it's time to restart. So you got yourself an operating system. Well, you got, have to keep it running and there's only one way for Mac, Android, iOS, Windows, it doesn't matter, it's updating. You need to update and yes, sometimes it can be a challenge. Even on Windows, I was thinking. Buy, buy, buy and buy. And of course, read the buttons, test the buttons, play with it. But F12 is what we use as a hidden away terminal, which is nice because it's there. Just one thing, if it's doing something in here for Pac-Man and you did not say yes or no, then Pac-Man is blocked, right? So remember to check that one as well and do not unlock Pac-Man without checking your hidden terminal. This is what is an Arch Linux command, an Arch Linux setup, right? This is what you need to know out of your mind because this works on anything Arch, Garuda, Endeavor, and you name it. If it's Arch, this works, but we tend to do updates. An update is a Arch Linux thing, right? Many, many, many Arch Linux packages and a few Arc Co Linux till here. And we have, of course, the Arch Linux logout, Arch Linux tweet tool, Arch Linux logout themes. Those are for anything based on Arch. And yeah, the only thing you have to say is yes and hope for the best. There is indeed a new key that um, came out, I believe, this month, only a week or so, a few days ago. So we'll see. If you need that package first before installing 415 packages, which will cost us 120 megabyte, 3.6 installed, 1.2 downloaded. So yeah, if you don't have uh, the means to have to pay for bandwidth or it's just not there and in your country or in your town or in your street, right? Then um, this is not for you. There are other distros that have l less packages. You have to find them, of course. This is Arch. And there is no key issue at all. But let us let us just type it for future occurrences. sudo pacman minus s arch Linux and then you press tab tab. That's all you need to remember Arch Linux. And it's about the key ring that we have it, right? That's the issue always, the keys. There is, of course, Arch Wiki material to read. So Arch Wiki sign key, and you'll find out that there are ways to make an operating system secure. And signing a package with a key means, yes, it's checked. It's this guy with that key, it's the correct. It has not been tampered with, right? That's the idea of the key. So install that if you get any of the mess these messages about keys and uh, not missing and then they say yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And you can't go ahead, right? Everything stops, everything halts. First, the Arsenal's key ring. Oh, it's there. So, Basically, it's a good month. <laughs> Nothing difficult to explain. Now, in these videos that you'll see, sometimes I explain CB, right? Alias CB. Sometimes I do a backup scale. So check it out. What is all that backup scale? So control H. If I show you this and I type backup scale, something happens. You get this scale thing. And it's interesting to do it before and after. Twice. So before the update and after the update. And then you can pair packages, can pair folders. Because when I do it again, I just get another folder. And this would be the before and that will be the after. And you do this and you melt. And of course, these are the same, 
but then you see the differences what has been changed to my etc scale All right to give an example sudo pacman minus s if i install arch linux ch dwm git so our new desktop the one i'm working on on the iso builder it tells you something it shows you etc scale etc scale all the time so when i do a backup scale it makes another folder and then you can check something happened to my system in etc scale arco cha dwm is new also ewm so with this selection if you go up here you can actually quickly see that package means give you this and this right this is what we install to have cha dwm specifically it needs more but specifically that's what we need to make it work so with this knowledge right you can keep this around and next time you install something and you do backup scale you can compare again and i say ah oh, yeah so if i install that particular package this and this changes in the etc scale but it's not of course the only place where things change if you really want to know then you go to the PAMAC and then you say chddwm dwm is not going to show yeah it is going to show this is for me still the best way to know what's going on with my machine for any package what's happening right what is where and there's so many packages like firefox right is gonna install an executable user bin firefox and all kinds of libraries lib libraries we're gonna share some stuff i see icons pngs and that's it right get your knowledge from there so what we normally do is make a folder stay rolling 2012 from 11 to 12. that's strange what we haven't done is a scale <laughs> yeah we can explain scale and that's pointing to a script and there he is right that's why i say it's strange this one was not there so nothing to do very simple i'm gonna do exactly the same thing Control c Control v i'm gonna name this guy 12 elf and make a new package unless this reveals something let's see up all what's up all it's gonna look at all the packages well nothing to do so i can indeed do this up all means arch arco and aor and i tend to do them apart because now i know that arco and arclinx has been covered with the update and now i get the aor stuff sometimes they rename things or they move things from arch to aor or the other way around from aor to arch right and then it reveals itself here and now we can say okay we need to remove this or we need to install extra that stuff like that but in this case no guys you're good after an update everything is just gonna work all right so how to stay rolling video that's it next video what's new